begging, da driving through downtown Vancouver, begging for the location through text of a new roguelite. Well, this is Slice and Dice. I originally was going to play it um, like last July. I can't remember what happened. I, I feel like I had a problem with the Java runtime environment. I know I don't want to get into the weeds here, but I think in order to play it, I needed like a, a I needed a launch with the jar file, but the Java runtime environment, it had some kind of zero day exploit that was on it or something like that. And it just wasn't working. And listen, long story, we, we don't need to peep OG this regardless. Um, it's out in version two now, a year and something else later. It is a, a dungeon crawling roguelite, very minimalist mechanics, although you're going to be a little bit overwhelmed to start with. But you roll dice and it's a roguelite. It's that simple. It's a like in a in a extremely broad sense. It's kind of like slay the spire with dice, but it's not really. But you'll see anyway. If you, I, I'm gonna try to explain it as we uh, as we play a little bit here. I played I don't know maybe like an hour and a half yesterday, so I, I've made it through like the tutorial and stuff like that. But I need to explain basic mechanics for people who are watching right now. Okay, so these are the enemies on the screen, right? You can see what the enemies are doing. The lines on the bottom right indicate the damage. The color of this indicates who they're attacking. So this archer is doing two damage to our defender. The goblin is doing four damage to our healer. And this archer is doing another two damage to our fighter. You can also see it on the health bar. So like our healer's about to take four damage, four yellow pips here. Our fighter's about to take two damage. Our defender's about to take two damage. No big deal, okay? Now, if, you, if nobody dies and you finish the level, all your characters full heal, okay? Where was I going with this next? We've almost, we've almost got it. So the enemies roll, all the, they, they roll their dice and you can see what all six faces are. Now, you don't really need to worry about it like necessarily, but, um, you know, you can see that they have two attacks here that, like, there's a one-third chance that they do four damage. And then there's, like, a one-third chance that they do one damage to three units. And then there's, like, uh, I think this can only be done to the unit with, like, the most HP or something. Yes, or the least HP. So it's three damage to the least HP. The only other thing I would say right now is you, every enemy has, like, a new, it has a, a mechanic associated. So, like, this archer is on the back line. So we can't attack that unless we have some range ourselves, which thankfully we do. And the goblin will leave, <clears throat> leave if they're the only person that's on the fight. That's what the white flag means. Okay, now listen, we're rolling our own dice. The dice are color-coded to our party. So the orange dice is the thief. You can see they got one ranged attack, three nothings, and two melee attacks. We, uh, our mage can generate some mana for us, and there's some spells we'll talk about in a bit. But they rolled an X here, which is nothing. The, uh, the defender has a little bit of attack and a lot of defense. The fighter has a little bit of defense and a lot of attack. And the healer has some heals and some mana generation. That's it. That's all you need to know. So here's how we're going to start this. We're going we're gonna to prioritize killing one of the archers because we have two damage here. We don't need to heal because we're at full HP. I feel like our fighter can do better um, than one attack. But maybe our defender's doing pretty well with, uh, with two defense. We're going to roll again. We get two mana out of our mage, which is pretty good. Healing, again, is useless. I feel like our fighter can do better. Um, all right, well, that's fine. So here's, what, here's the way we're going to do it. You get, you get to roll three times, by the way. First, we're going to shoot an archer. Let's shoot the archer attacking um, the fighter, because they have least HP. Get smoked. You're dead. Then we might as well defend. Let's defend the healer, because they have the least HP. Then let's gain two mana. With your mana... You can do uh, spells, and you can get more spells throughout the game, okay? So we have, we, we've generated mana. We have two of it right now. We could do burst, which gives you two damage on someone, or you can shield one of your teammates for two. You can mend, which means you can set a hero to three HP, which is, you know, good if you get below three HP, obviously, but otherwise maybe not so good. And then if you get four mana, you can cast flare, which I think just does five damage. And that's, that's basically it. And you can carry your mana from turn to turn. And that's the, and you've learned it. You, that's it. That's, that's why I should be the explainer at every board game night. 
now we can just play the game, and if you got questions, we can do it. Anyway, so I can't burst the archer, unfortunately. It's not a ranged attack for whatever reason. But we can heal nobody, because there's no point, and we can just attack the goblin real quick. So, because the goblin leaves if they're the last unit available, all we need is to kill the archer, but our only range is in the form of um, this one in six chance for our thief. So, I would say generating mana is solid. I would say our defender, uh, nobody's dying, by the way, which is great. And on most turns, somebody will be dying. So you, you, it's, more, it's mostly like a puzzle to figure out how to make your units not die or make them die for like a, a just cause because after the fight, they resurrect with half HP. Anyway, um, you're, these are not good enough. We're going to roll again. There, there you go. We just won the fight because get smoked and then the goblin's scared so he leaves there you go that's and then after you finish the fight look you there's 20 levels there's a few bosses it looks like you fight him like every four levels or something like that we got a level up we can choose to turn our fighter into a scrapper or our mage into glacia you know what i like a consistent dice here and look at this you're generating mana you're generating mana and also getting a shield on this your one damage weakens single use. This target gets minus one to all sides this turn. What is your spell? Two damage weakens single cast. Can only be cast once per fight. Target gets minus two to all sides this turn. Um, I've never used weaken in this game, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Bloodlust. Bonus equal to damage. You know what? I'm going, I'm a simple man. I'm confirming my choice to have Glacia. How many times will you use dice as the singular noun? Every single time. I'm not one of those people who is like, oh, you mean a die? I find calling something one die to be a very, it's very clumsy language, in my opinion. I don't care if it's correct, because I don't believe in uh, an objective rubric for evaluating the English language. I feel like saying one die is, uh, is clumsy. So I say one dice, okay? I've, I use the plural form as a singular. Pray I don't alter it further. Okay, we got three rats and a wolf. The rats have nothing special going on. The, the, the game, it really starts to shine, in my opinion, when you get to the fights where basically uh, one of your units is going to die every turn unless you untangle the web of how to keep them alive, Okay. So I'm just going to say, like, straight up, I don't think any of these rolls are good. So I'm rolling again. I would say two defense is okay. Um, everybody's at full HP, so I'll just take one mana from the healer as a just-in-case me. But I feel like everybody else can do even better. And look at that. Immediately rewarded. So let's... Um, we, we got how much damage output? Two. Not even enough to get a kill. Unless this does one damage. It does! But would I rather... Would I, is the thing with weaken, would I rather kill one rat to prevent the damage, or would I rather weaken the wolf forever so it does less damage over time? Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think I'm going to go for the kill. So let's kill the rat that is attacking the unit with the least HP, which is our thief. So, get smoked. Get smoked. You're dead. We can't use that dice anymore, unfortunately. Then, let's protect our lowest HP unit, which would be the fighter. And then maybe our fighter can protect Glacia, and we'll just add one mana here to, to float for the next turn. No big deal. It's true, one dead rat, I guess, does mean less damage over time. That's fair enough. Okay, this is good damage. This is good damage. This is good defense. Roll me again. This is uh, even better for mana, and then we'll roll one more. We could use a heal this turn if we roll. Okay, so nobody's dying. That's wonderful news. What does chill do? Two damage weaken, minus two to all sides this turn. Two damage. Well, let's mana gain and shield our fighter. This makes sense. Can we get some background tracks? I know it is, it is weird to have no music, but you can put on your own Steely Dan in the background. I'm so non-aesthetic pilled that like um, there being no music actually, I, I didn't even notice it until chat started to talk about it. And I'm being like completely sincere. Um, 
I do, th I'm just living unbothered in the moment, moisturized, ham sandwiched. Okay, I'm, I'm just thinking about what to do. Because, like, they, I mean, you do two damage. We can single cast. You also do two damage. But we're also doing two damage. So we're going to end up overkilling something, right? Let's, uh, may maybe, well, you know what? You have exactly six HP, so let's just kill the wolf. But let's not use weaken, because we can use weaken, you know, maybe for a better purpose. Or, may you know, all the other things equal, because it's a single cast. We might as well just do this, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And let's keep Glacia alive. And then, excuse me, one usable dice remaining. My mistake. My mistake. Anyway, the game, it, it looks easy right now, and we are playing on normal difficulty. It, it's going to get a little harder, okay? So if we kill the red rat, our healer won't die. That's good enough for me. The rest of these rolls, not that good. Would you rather slice or dice? Trick question. I would rather make julienne fries, okay? People are always asking me whether I would slice or dice, but nobody ever asked me, hey, how are you? Okay, so get owned. Get owned. We're, I mean, you're like, it's pretty much over for you, rat. You might as well just run away. The rat is trying to flee. Will you let them escape? No. Why, why would I? I guess why wouldn't I, but why would I? Maybe you get better rewards if you actually kill them, which is what we're about to do. And you don't have to heal before you leave because you heal the full as long as everybody lived through the mission, okay? Now, we get an item on this one. Reagents. Replace the two right sides with blank and heal one regen. So this is like you can manipulate the faces of your dice or tattered robes. Replace the three right sides with plus one mana. I almost want to see. So like this would completely screw up our thief, completely screw up our fighter, ruin our defender, slightly improve our healer, and be worse for Glacia. So this would take this would give us a slightly more consistent mana generation on our healer, but this would also just make our healer better. Okay. Or we can get a random tier one item. But I think I think we could take reagents and then we'll just apply that to our healer. Oh it takes away this space though. It's, I mean it's still fine. Son of a Okay, I think the boar, the boar's thing is the last piece of HP must be removed by itself. So you can't like overkill. Well, I mean, I guess you can overkill, but you can't just do like 50 damage. If you do 50 damage, it would just take them down to one. Then you got to hit them again. And the goblin runs away if they're the last person alive. Let's see what we got here. Okay, listen. Weaken for one turn plus one damage. I, I, I don't mind it. Big shield and then roll me once more. Go ahead. Two damage there. So now the, here's, here's the puzzle, right? Our thief is dying by two. So let's give them a shield unless we're going to kill the goblin. We could kill the goblin. But the rat, wait, they're, they're taking six. Okay, we could kill the rat too and then we would live. It kind of, to me, it makes more sense to kill the rat and then focus on the boar. Unless we could kill the boar this turn. Let me, th let me, let me think for a second, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the last one has to be done for seven. So we can take you to five. We can take you to four. We can take you to two. We can take you to one, but we can't kill you. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Here's what I'm thinking. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Mana me, burst me. Kill me. Now our thief is living. Let's give him a shield anyway. Let's throw in a little weakness on this boar. Make him a little weaker for next turn. Let's smack him. Let's try to get a kill on them next turn. And then the goblin would run away if it's the last one alive. There would be two. That would be one. This is enough damage to kill you, and my defender's not dying. So you know what? I mean, I'll reroll the thief, but I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving life here. Smack him. Might as well smack him for one. And then, might as well own him. It's the easiest game of all time. Now, do we want our thief to become a dabbler? 
They, look at the. I, I've never seen the dabbler before. They got a little bit of everything. They got a little mana, they got a little attack, they got a nice heal, they got a little defense. But then, the bard. I, I need someone who knows what's, uh, what's up with Dungeons and Dragons to explain to me what a cantrip is. I thought a cantrip was like a one-time use spell in Dungeons and Dragons. It's a low-level spell. So let, let's, let's talk this one through. No, it's unlimited use. Okay. So if... Oh, I... Okay. So I start with two rerolls. But if I roll this dice and it ever lands on this face up, then it gives us another reroll for the whole squad. That's a little bit crazy. That's, that's a little bit cool with it. Now, I think the dabbler is just like a straight upgrade. But this gives us more mechanics, which is also fun. Shield 1 to all allies. Shield 2 and does bonus equal to our current mana. Plus 2 mana, single use. Okay, L you know what? Let's give it a try, okay? All right, we got a troll here. The troll regens one per turn and can apply some poison to us. So, does bonus shield equal to our existing mana? I mean, that is pretty good. Like, this is a good roll. This is a good roll. This is a good roll. This is a pretty good roll. I would just try to get something better out of uh, out of our healer if possible. So you want to generate the mana first. And we might as well shield... Let's shield you. And now we've got three bonus mana. So we'll shield you. And this, this thing's going to shield for freaking five. Okay, we, we got the engine working. Then we're going to smack you. Then we're going to smack you. And you know what? Let's weaken you next turn. And let's end the turn. What are you doing this time? You're doing a, a foot stomp that's going to hit everybody. But you know what? We do have shield one all allies, which is actually like everybody's only taking two. So this seems like a pretty solid get. I'll take mana. I'll take attack. I'll take attack. Nobody really needs a heal right now. Yes, come on. One, one mana. I'd rather apply one regen. That's fine. Let's regen our bard. Shield to all allies. It even play There's Hey, you said this game didn't have any music. Okay, this guy, he's probably dead next turn. Okay, he's doing two damage to all units. Hang on, I'm loving the squad right now. This is a horrendous roll, though. I would like to have two mana. Listen, I guess that's about as good as it gets for our... For you. A hey, free reroll! Dude, now I get it! I understand now! These endless rerolls! <laughs> Real shit. One sound effect is not music? Oh, sorry, I didn't know we had the, the King of England here. I didn't realize how, how uh, the high standards you have to have for, for audio design these days. Okay, I got two mana. Why don't you go ahead and shield that thief? They're loving it. Why don't you go ahead and heal? Doesn't even matter. Just heal yourself. We'll hit you. I think we killed you anyway. I was just too lazy to do the math now that I think about it. Anyway, you're, you're owned. Okay, new item. Twin daggers. Replace the top and bottom with one damage cantrip. <laughs> Excuse me? Or plus one to the value of the rightmost side. Is it, you put this on the thief, they're getting free cantrips. It, it doesn't cannibalize anything. Doesn't matter. It would replace something. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah dude, I mean, with, without a doubt. We're going twin daggers. And then... Pop that on the thief, and look at that. That dice is incredible. That die is incredible. It's not on Steam? No, this is on Itch.io. If you, if you Google Itch, EO, <laughs> Slice and Dice, you can download it yourself. It's a, it's a pay what you want, minimum $7. I know you're going to say that's a minimum that's that means that the game is $7. I don't want to brag. <laughs> I might have kicked in a little bit. I might have given them 7.99. I might have I might have even given them 8.50 for all I know. I don't want to say that I'm the, the the most benevolent streamer on the platform. I'm not going to say I gave them $10. I'm not going to say I paid 40 bucks for this. I mean, keep in mind I paid $27 for Bunker Life and then scaled the 
goodness of this game relative to that one accordingly. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, here's the thing with, with the freaking Slimer, right? It's, you know how in Slay the Spire, when you take the big slime down to half HP, he splits? This is the exact same thing, except the split happens even if you lethal them. So you gotta, I think we gotta kill the snake and then prioritize, like, get, get the Slimer close to this and then bam, take him down and then, you, anyway, you'll see it. Listen, I feel like the, the bonus shield here is pretty good. Everything else, I, I snooze on. The rolls are simply not strong enough. Ooh, a little cantrip damage for you. Get owned. Um, this is pretty good. This is fine. And then I would say, can I, if I save it, it just does one more damage. Is that the case? Yeah. I mean, I would roll it again to try to get the free... Oh, I saved it by accident. <laughs> Whoopsie. First question, do I have five damage? Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay, that's great news. So I would say get the mana, shield the bard because they're about to take some nasty damage. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to weaken you so you're not as strong next turn. And you're one away from splitting, which is like I think the optimum level to have yet. Okay, you are doing five, no, three damage to the top and the bottom. Oh, three damage, but I split you into a freaking slimelet. Um, we don't really need a healer right now. Everyone's doing great. A weaken is this turn. Oh, okay. Do you know what? Good to know. Two bonus mana. I mean, this is basically two bonus damage. Let's go ahead and take it. Roll again. This is good enough, although we lose the chance at the cantrip. And then roll one more time. Okay, this is quite a lot of mana. I don't think anyone would dispute the amount of mana in our possession. So I think I'm going to smack you. And then can I do four damage to you? I absolutely can. And then we'll just have to deal with a, with a little slime next turn. And then maybe we don't even have to. Maybe I'll just drop an ice cube on your ass. Okay, look at that. No problem. Oh no, here we go. $7 for a game without audio. Lol, I guess anything counts as a game nowadays. Anyway, I was doing a side quest in God of War Ragnarok, but I'm kind of stuck. My audio and subtitling is glitched out, so I can't progress. Any kind of editor is willing to help me out. <laughs> Wait, but Mimir hanging from your belt is not... He, he doesn't say... Hey, Kratos, have you tried going googling the error code? Have you tried verifying the integrity of game cash, Kratos? I know you can't do that on your PlayStation. Anyway, listen, I think that right now, our thief is doing great. I don't really want to screw up the cantrips here, even though it would be nice to have some more range damage. Um, so let's go vampire. They got, they got a little life steal. Heal one to all other allies, but you take one damage. Also grants the target plus one empty max HP this fight. Interesting. And they have another spell. Heal two to all allies. Okay, we'll, we'll add a vampire here. The world is a vampire. That's that's damn true. What do you repl you replace the two right sides? So we would lose a heal for five to get regen one. I would probably I'm looking at my squad and I'm saying honestly I think I snooze on this uh, on these potions. I think I keep the potions over here. Okay, we have to kill three goblins and then the fourth one runs away. The thief is getting insanely killed. But look at free reroll. Because we get a free reroll. Oh, dude, this is where it gets tricky, right? We got the free reroll. I don't want to just take two damage with the thief because I have a one in three chance to cantrip for one bonus damage. Even though this is like the best roll, I feel like we got three rerolls. We could get some more free damage out of it. So I'm, I'm feeling like I greed this whole thing up right here. Although if I greed this whole thing up, then I haven't gained anything from my roll. But that's okay because this roll is simply not that good. But I only need three. Uh, no, you know what? I'm rolling. It's actually an acceptable roll. This is a heal for five, which is sadly not relevant. I'm going to say that this is good. And this is good enough. 
and this is good enough, and then roll me again. Then we'll keep it a little basic. We don't, we don't need the heal for five, unfortunately. Two extra mana. So here's what you do, okay? Take some mana. Shield your thief. They're still dying. But then we have so much mana. We should have shielded our fighter instead. But there's an undo button. Shield the fighter. So they take less damage. Then we have shield five plus, it's a plus three. Look at that. Now you're staying alive. And now we got all this mana. We want to do five damage. Is that possible? Yes. Who would we like to kill? I would say the, the units attacking our thief we would like to kill. Let's, let's hit the one doing four damage to our thief. So I would say get um, bursted, get fought, get slightly overkilled, and, uh, and get owned. Nice shot. How about that? What does Infuse do? I think it, it's a wide heal. It heals everyone on the squad for two. Yeah. Okay, so this is shield one to all allies. Our fighter is taking six damage this turn. Two mana is great. One shield is not going to help us, so roll again. Bro, where's my freaking cantrips? Two mana is still shield or, like, damage. Thief, two damage is fine. We'd love to get some defense here. All right, this might be a little, a little sussy. Sorry for the language. Um... I would like to kill a goblin that's doing three damage. But I would also like to shield, but that does It's... Listen, okay, listen. Here's what I'm going to do. If it doesn't work, we'll just undo it. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to take two mana and kill you. Now you're only dying by one. I'm going to take two more mana... And I'm going to heal the whole squad. And I'm going to take two more mana. And I'm going to put another shield on you. And everybody's living. Look at that. And then if we kill one more goblin, it's over. Got free cantrip! Let's go! Okay, this is only one damage and a weaken. I'm a, I'm a snoozer on that. I think we just take our free reroll. Good damage. Heal for five is kind of sick, but it doesn't help our thief. So I would probably reroll that. What the heck? Oh, pain. You take one damage. Also grants the target plus one empty max HP. Wait, this is good damage. We only need to kill a goblin. It's gonna happen. It's, it's, all, it's already happened. Look at this, okay? Get bursted. Get shot. Get stabbed. Sorry, get sliced. And look at that. Free kill. Pocket phylactery. 2x random tier 2 items. No, that's I'm reading the bottom for some reason. At the start of each turn, self-shield one, or add pain to the two left sides, but also plus six max HP. So, like, you would take damage every time you use something that was in the left and the right, but you would also gain six max HP. You use your, or your, your left and the one right next to it. You use the, you use those. You use those. You use those. I don't know if we want pain on on a can trip. You use those. You use those. Hmm. You take damage equal to equal to the dice value. Oh, that's what the N means. That makes sense. Or on the start of each turn, self shield one or two X random, two X random tier twos. You already have pain on you to begin with. I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. I think it makes sense on the vampire. I do. Even though it seems a little... A little spicy. The vampire has the ability to, to heal prodigiously. We have healing spells as well. They have lifesteal. I think we can make this work. And, and look at their freaking HP, man. Okay, so the bandit... The bandits escape if you overkill an adjacent enemy by two or more. So if we can overkill the snake by two or more, both bandits will run away. I can't get to sleep. I don't know why I, I, I always say it in my head. 
I think about it. I'm still yet to have heard it in a Peloton ride. I'm sorry to say. Can you even do three damage with anything? Hold on. <laughs> nope. 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 And none of our spells. Okay, so I guess we're just going to um, focus on them. <laughs> I guess we're just going to get them... We're just going to have to kill them individually, unfortunately. That's okay. Hey, hold on, though. Great roll. Great roll. Actually, a pretty good roll. And then let's just work on our mana regen. It's not quite good enough, in my opinion. Okay, what is this again? Heals one to all other allies. Also grants the target one empty max HP. I don't think I want you to take one extra damage this turn. I might just not do anything with that. So why don't you give me some mana and some shield, and we're obviously going to shield the vampire, and then you're going to shield the vampire, and they're not looking that bad anymore. It does suck that we can't kill a snake, though. But we'll get close. Now, the vampire could definitely use a heal next turn. The thief is also going to take some poison damage, so we got to, like, keep him alive. Okay, the bard is getting destroyed this time, so that's, like, not great. But, there's no buts about it. I think the bard is probably dead this turn. We only need one damage. You do two with some lifesteal. Okay, that's good enough. Two mana is always going to be helpful. Although, your bonus shield would be nice, too, now that I think about it. Yeah, if you could roll your bonus shield... And then the Thief, that's like the best they do. I'm rolling. This is lethal without having to use another attack, but... Free reroll. Let's go, kind of. Not really, though. Ah, it's horrendous! Okay. I'm pretty sure that the Bard cannot live. So they'll come back with half HP next time. So let's... Have the fighter take a shot. Let's weaken one of the bandits. Now they're only doing four damage. Let's attack the bandit. Okay, so now we have to learn about death. When they die, we lose them for the fight unless we have like a, a healer that can resurrect. But they come back if we win the fight they just come back with half hp so they'll they'll be weakened for the next fight but it's possible that stop doing so much damage why are you doing 6 damage okay the life steal is not that relevant we really need well we need to kill a unit so that's pretty good this healing all units at your own expense seems very important and then plus one mana is not that great, but that's okay. So let's heal our, let's heal our everybody. And then kill the unit that's attacking our fighter. And then it would be nice if the vampire didn't take so much damage. Let's, let's do two damage and weaken them this turn. There you go. We're not in the death spiral yet. Like, I, I think we're going to be fine on this level. It's like, the, from this point on, it's going to get a little touchy. Okay, big heal on the thief is nice. Two mana is very good. Roll me again. Two attack is pretty solid. And then just whatever you can get out of the fighter. That's nice. Okay, heal the thief. Nobody's dying. Get smacked. Get smacked. Actually, you're dead. Look at that. No problem. Kind of. Now, the thief could become a rogue or the fighter could become a collector. I already like what we got going on with our thief with those cantrips. But, like, the fighter is still, like, level one. I almost feel like they, they need the upgrade so we can actually do more damage. So, like, what do these do? That's just a range shot. This is, like, sword and shield. Rogue also has cantrips. What is this? One damage poison. It's true. It is true. We could make a four cantrip build. It's an inter interesting idea, isn't it? As we go up against the three crowns. And then, okay, three damage exert. Unfortunately, that means, like, if you do this, you don't get to attack next turn. One damage and duplicate. Copy this on the all allied sides this turn. So if I'm... 
if we did this attack, then all of our other party members would also do one damage with each of their actions, even like their heals and stuff like that. That's, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of scary too. What's this? Focus times two versus the target of the previously used dice this turn. There is like, so I know how this sounds. This is crazy, but like there's other mechanics like copycat. So it's like if you were to, if you were to do something that poisoned, some dice will have like copy the ability of the last dice you use. So you'll have like, you can use the transitive property to put effects from one dice onto another dice and it, at least temporarily in comp. Listen, I'm, I'm losing them. I'm losing the audience here. I think you're right. I think it would be funny to take the rogue and then give them the cantrip dice anyway, even though it causes them to lose the poison, just because rolling dice is fun. What is this? Dodge all enemy attacks. Okay. And we should look at their abilities, okay? Let me, let me look at this for a second. So the bard is already dying. First can't, it, dude, it worked. First cantrip worked. <laughs> um, what happens when you get this, when this orange heart is done, you do two damage to the bottom most enemy. Okay. You do two damage to the middle enemy. You do two damage to the top enemy. Understood. So, I mean, I feel like it would be nice if our vampire rolled their heal. The fighter, this is about as good as it gets. I think we roll. Can't trip me! Hello! Hi, how are you? You're blowing bubbles? <laughs> ah, you're blowing bubbles, okay. Hi! You're blowing bubbles with mommy! So cute. That's our delivery guy. Um, so I gotta, I'm gonna raise the ergo on my, on my armrest temporarily. <laughs> Sorry. Could we kill Mar Magrat? No, I'm gonna lower the ergo on my armrest real quick. Who's doing, who's doing damage? The most damage is coming from Magrat. It would be nice if we could just weaken you, but it would also be nice if... Well, actually, you know what? A weaken almost keeps you alive by itself. We only have one more reroll left. Two mana is basically two shield. I'm not going to look a, a gift horse in the mouth on that one. Roll me whence more. We're being weakened ourselves. Okay. So this says avoid all enemy attacks. I was hoping I could apply that to somebody else. Because <laughs> that's just not that good on you. You're only dodging like one damage. Um, but it is what it is. Can I do six damage? Two, two, two. Yeah, okay. I, I should just kill Magrat, I think. If I kill Magrat, yes, this is, it's positive, I think. So I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm gonna take two mana and I'm gonna smack I'm gonna smack you with just a regular burst. What is what does this do? It weakens and cleaves, and this just hits all units. Okay, so I'm gonna weaken you to remove one damage from everybody. Basically render your attack useless, I think. Yeah, beautiful. Zero damage to all enemy units. That's fantastic for me. Okay. Um I can't help but notice. Geetha, that it seems like you're doing seven damage. Seven damage to the unit with the most HP. That is like basically like useless for you though, because our vampire has too much HP to like be killed. And then you're like nothing. You're like a nobody. I would take two attack on the fighter and reroll everything else. Free cantrip. You love to see it. I would take a big heal, I guess. And I would roll once more. Another cantrip. Oops. <laughs> Wait, are you... Side has been reduced to zero. The sacred text. Reduce... So we've been weakened ourselves. I can't do four damage. Can I, I can't even gain mana out of it. Okay. Well, you should heal the bard. And then... I'm okay with our middle unit. Actually, I'm, I'm more happy with our top unit taking some damage next turn. I'm okay with this. 
Hit me with the damn broom. Okay, you're doing essentially no damage. You've been hit with the cantrip. You've been struck by a smooth criminal. I would take two mana and probably reroll everything else. Ooh, <laughs> get cantripped. Oh, baby. Oh! <laughs> it's probably not even that great. But, like, getting something for nothing always feels good, man. Hey, hold on, I'm just gonna weaken you. Now you're doing, like, no damage to anybody. And then I'm gonna burst you, and you're dead. Hissing ring or chainmail. Chainmail is plus three health. Could go hard on the fighter, honestly. Hissing ring, though. Replaces the middle side with two damage poison. Anybody got an empty middle? Like the Hungarian flag? Well, I'm not replacing a cantrip. I, I'm skeptical that the right thing to do is to get rid of this. Because I feel like that could actually be really handy for us. It's just not handy on turn one. So I feel like you, you take chain mail and you apply it to your fighter. And then you, you just send it. So, okay, this ghost... I, this ghost... There, there's a lot to, to parse here in this fight. The game gets hard really fast, okay? When this health is broken, the ghost cannot be attacked anymore that turn. So you want to overkill them past it, but obviously we can't do that. Because we, we simply don't have enough damage. Cruel. Times two versus targets on half or less HP. Then... You are like, you have thorns. You do one damage every time we hit you. And I forget what the zombie does. Oh, if it takes four or more damage in a single attack, it dies. But there's no way for us to do that, <laughs> unfortunately. So your ass is doing what? Like, you're doing seven, six damage to me? And you're doing four damage to me? It would be nice to kill the imp. We can't kill the ghost, because as soon as we do three damage to it... um it will become incorporeal. Oh, but a dodge on our rogue would go insane. Very true. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's roll. Free damage, get owned. Although that did lead to some spikiness, unfortunately. I would roll again. Send it. Okay, we didn't get what we were looking for, but check this out. You're done. You're done. Oh, but that's still spiky. <laughs> Shield all allies for one. Protect you? I only have one mana left? Our rogue is dying. In that case, I'm not going to protect you, because you're dead anyway. No. I could heal you for two. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's okay, we're going to lose the rogue. Life goes on. Even if I weaken them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose the rogue. So there's no reason to really chill you, because you're going to die anyway. So I think I would just... Let's burst you. Man, it would be nice to do like one extra damage, but whatever. Bard is, is in danger. Free reroll, always nice. This is good. Bard needs to shield for like three. Or get a big heal, but that's not going to happen. So we can't kill the ghosts this turn. As soon as we hit them once, they're going to be incorporeal. This one could be a tough fight, okay? You know what? This does enough healing to keep them alive, now that I think about it. And the fighter, that's basically the fighter's best role. And that, that's nice, actually. I mean, I, 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 would, I would live with that. Give me the mana. Give me this mana first. Heal the whole squad. Everybody's living. Wonderful news. Shield, oh, now they're living. Shield my bard. Two more mana. We don't need to use it this turn. Let's make sure we're killing the ghost next turn. We only need to do two damage. Still kind of nasty though. Okay, so we need two damage. <laughs> Little spooky. We already have two damage, but that's nice. That's good. I think we're going to be okay. It's just going to look a little nasty for a bit. That's st it's actually like a great roll. So you're dead. The bard still needs to live. Pop your mana. Now, this mana, any mana that has a cross through it, you have to spend it this turn or you lose it. So, which is great because, oh wait, hold on. Two units are dying here. 
Infuse me once then. Bard is not living. Now the Bard is living and not taking any damage. And then... Chill. By the way, every time I say chill, I, th I think, of course, about Arnold Schwarzenegger from Batman and Robin. But in terms of one-liners, where do you think... Um, I mean, there's Bennett, cool off. Excuse my friend, he's dead tired. Um, remember when I said that would kill you last? I lied. But where, where does um, the one from Total Recall land? Where Michael Ironsides is clinging to the elevator that's going up. And then the, he's coming up to like a, a rock. And he goes, ah! And then the rock cuts off both of his arms. And he falls off the elevator. And he goes, see, see you at the party, Richter. That is, that is tight. Very tight line. Because earlier Richter said, see you at the party, I forget, Hauser. And then anyway, put that cookie down. Who asked? Okay, yeah, sure. You know what? Who asked? That's fair. Insulting, but fair. Um, we can do better than this, but not with the fighter. Good. Honestly, like good enough. I would love to roll something better. Okay, we rolled the same thing like five times. Talked about how their bones were their money like ten times. That's because I forgot whether I said it or not. Okay, we need to do three damage to the zombie to live. Isn't that the Colin Firth movie? Okay, first off is Colin Farrell. I don't think that um, Colin Firth's British affability would necessarily have fit in the Total Recall remake, considering he was in like his mid-50s. But I haven't seen the... I, I, well, I flew on a, a WestJet flight once. The first time I ever flew WestJet, I was like, oh, I'm looking forward to watching a movie on board. I sit down in the damn chair. Every single chair has the credit card swiper in it. I say, oh, fuck. Here we go. They, it, shit doesn't have, like, on-demand screens where you can watch whatever you want. Instead, they're like, we're starting Total Recall with Colin Farrell in, like, nine minutes. Please swipe your credit card if you want to watch it. And you're like, oh, here we go. So I, I got to watch the first 15 minutes of Colin Farrell's Total Recall on free preview, and then I said, I'm not swiping for this shit. What decade? That was like the 20... That was probably the year 2014, if I had to guess. Okay, so we got... Um, Sinew has, like, damage to everybody, or damage to, to three units, but it also has chain. Times two if this shares a keyword with the previously used dice this turn. Now, I'm here to tell you, I don't know what that means. It seems like if you roll this consecutively, you then get more damage every single time. And then what is, let me look at Gladiator here. Engage. Times two versus targets on full HP. Okay, that's pretty good. You also get your own defense. I'm just going, I'm going Gladiator. If you use any other dice with chain or cleave. Okay, am I correct to assume that because we have none of them on the rest of our squad, it, it, it wouldn't be good? This is like almost as far as I've ever made it into the game. So I'm like <laughs> not optimistic. Here's what I do know, okay? When you kill the bonies, they do one damage each to adjacent enemies. That's pretty good. Now, Wiz, what's your deal? You're in the back row, so I can only hit you with ranged attacks. But if I can do two damage to you, you're stunned this turn. Nobody on our squad has ranged attacks. So we're just going to have to... We're going to have to get to you the, the old-fashioned way. The rogue is almost dying. How much is times two versus targets with half or less HP? I think this is like, like two mana is fine. Two damage is pretty good. The rogue's going to live this turn. Don't, don't stress out too much. This is great. Free damage. Or the free kill on a bony. You love to see it. Okay, this does double damage to full HP. Get killed, damage your Slimer. You're still dying, but not by much. Let's make sure we're killing this other bony. 
Also does some damage to Wiz, which is nice, okay? Then, you need to live. Mission accomplished. One floating mana for next turn, okay? Okay, there's something there. You've summoned more bonies? You summoned, oh, oh no. <laughs> like every turn? It's still though, we can get the Wiz to the point where he's stunned just by killing a single bony. You can heal someone for five. This is pretty solid. You can keep yourself alive. That's pretty good too. Roll me once more. Now my friends call me Bones. That's damn true. Okay, I've accidentally split my Slimer. Tag yourself if this has ever happened to you. We got a free reroll out of this. Two mana is also nice. Roll me again. Oh, baby, we're going to the damn moon! He's done it again. Okay. I'm gonna... So th this is... We're getting a little complicated here, okay? If I hit this bony, it will stun the Wiz because it will do one damage. As a result, they will not summon bonies next turn. I also think it would be freaking sweet to kill the Slimer. Even though it will summon another slime lit. And then I think we got one extra damage. We got one heal. That's going to go here. Let's start working on the slime lits, man. We got to get there. The slime lits rolled nothing. That's wonderful news. We're, we're in the clear. Two mana is good. Two mana is good. Roll again. You're dead. We're okay. We got a free reroll. We're going infinite again. We're going infinite! We're going streaking! We even got another reroll? Well, dude, I would roll again then. He's he's going infinite. Have I mentioned this yet? Get get owned. Get owned. We're incredible. We win again. Level 11. No problem. Fairy Pact. Replace the rightmost side with plus four mana, but you get minus four max HP. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It goes crazy on the vampire, man. Or Alembic. Replace the middle side with add mana gain and pain to this. Listen, I'm just not cut out for that yet, okay? Let's just let's keep it straight up. There you go. Don't I'm not gonna read happy for you. Or uh sorry that happened. I'm not gonna read all that. Okay, the fanatics thing. Any damage the Fnatic does, they do to themselves as well. So we have no means to kill the Sniper until the Fnatic dies. Is the Gladiator screaming or does he have a beard? I don't think that they have either. If I'm being honest, I, I think that their mouth is closed. But I can see how you would think that. It does kind of look like they're going like, like... Like how my toddler smiles in photos. We're like, say cheese! Anybody else dealing with that? No, just me. Hello, honey. Wow. They're dancing out there. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, this is fine. Although we could gain four mana instead. Let's let's roll again. I love my free damage. This seems solid. I guess I'd love if you lived now that I think about it. We can, we can actually lead you to dying next turn. Maybe that's worth hedging our bets a little bit. What do you do? Double damage against units with half or less HP. Okay, so two mana. Everybody gets one shield. Smack. We have no choice. Smack. I don't think that this will kill you because you're not at half or less. But we might as well attack you. We got nothing else to do. Wait a minute. Hold on. Now, even a burst won't get you there. But a weaken will at least mean our rogue doesn't die. Sensible. We could have we could have given our rogue a shield too, but it's it's kind of nicer to just do it like this, I guess. Okay, so we want to do three damage. That seems very doable. There's one dead unit already. Um, we just did it. We don't even need to... I mean, I guess we'll reroll the cantrip, obviously. But, okay, it's like your life is over. Sorry about that. You're not dead? Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I mistaken? <laughs> I made a mistake. Okay, the bard can become a paladin or our vampire can become a witch. 
Or we could skip it, I suppose. I mean, I've been enjoying the Bard. Don't get me wrong. But maybe we could do better. You got a huge shield and cleanse, which reduces the impact of status effects. You got a heal and shield. You got a heavy, you, you can do damage to the strongest unit. What does this plus mean? Summons of bones, okay. Even a skeleton's got better hair than me. Can you, can you believe this? But then a witch, what do you got? Target gets plus one to all sides this turn. Heal three that cleaves, so it also hits the two units adjacent. Heals two for one mana. That seems crazy good. Three mana. Weaken. You know what? I think we... I think we dump the vampire. Take the witch. But then we can easily re-equip this. And what was the uh, vampire also using? Add pain to the two leftmost sides. Four HP. It's <laughs> a good point. I guess I would like them to have this, even if it has pain associated with it. Because what is grief but love persevering or whatever? Okay, so you're summoning. Is you summoning two bonies? Is this correct? Good lord. Um, you're not even taking a hit, so we don't need you to have that. You're weakening. One damage plus weaken doesn't seem that good. The gl I think we reroll everything. I think we straight up reroll it. We got a single cantrip, which is nice. We got four mana, which is incredible. We got a, a big shield, which is not super necessary, but it's not bad. Let's save this and roll one more time. Okay, this, this is nice. So I would say, like, this is a heal for one. I would say let's do one damage to you. No. Okay, check this out. One damage to you. Two damage to you. Two damage to you. Two damage to you. I should have used my bonus shield much more sensibly than this, but that's okay. You know what? I, I can undo it if I need to. Yeah. Okay, undo me. With this much mana, now we get an even better bonus shield. So we're taking less damage. And then burst me. And then burst me. And then we're good. Okay, so nobody's getting hurt at all this turn. We have to do something to the Lich at some point, though. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> uh, this makes some sense, yeah. Um, hey, we did one damage that turn. Gladiator's taken a lot. This is fine. Super heal is not necessary. Two mana is nice enough. We don't really need weaken. I would roll again. Free damage. Four mana is crazy. Roll again. Dodging all attacks is pretty much useless, but whatever. Um, okay, so I'm thinking... Um, give me some super mana. Burst me. Burst me. Burst me. Gladiator's taking a hit, but it's not that bad. Target an enemy. Oh, that's right. And then, would it be crazy to um, burst you? We're still doing some damage to the Lich. Like, we're staying ahead of the game. I'm just waiting for the Lich to do an actual attack and then realize that I, this is horrendous for us. Okay, so you're weakening... You're doing one damage to everybody and weakening all sides. Okay. And this, you know what? Check this out. I'm going to weaken you so your, your stuff is useless. How do you feel about that? My dice synergy. Get weakened. I can't hit you because you're in the freaking back line. No, what? I, no wonder I can't uh, do any damage to you. Okay, well. That's unfortunate is what it is. I'm going to burst you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to put one shield on everybody. I'm going to weaken you. I'm going to get you next turn because you're not summoning any damn bonies this turn, which means I'm going to go... I'm going to go in on you. 
Okay, we're weakened this turn. This is still one damage. This heal is not necessary. The shield is not really necessary. I honestly, I would take a roll on this one. Cantrip's not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You take four damage, but you reduce negative effects by four. Okay, that's, I would say that taking four damage is a negative effect in and of itself. I choose to kill a bony, which will summon <laughs> the two bonies, and then I'll hit you one more time because I can't. Hey, this shit is going to take forever. This is going to take a hundred years. What is this move? Petrified. Transforms two sides to stone this fight. This fight? Okay, this is a kill. This is good mana. That seems less than optimal. Oh no, we even rolled a freaking X. This will kill you. Um, this will kill you. This will kill you. One more mana. I'm at least gonna chill ya. Which summons a bone. Okay. Throw me a freaking bone here, Scott. They, am, am I crazy to think that they, don't, they do not appear to have turned to stone? They appear to be doing just fine? Am I missing something? People are clapping for me. What did I do? <laughs> Heal one and boost. Target gets plus one to all sides this turn. You chilled him, so it weakened the petrified to zero. Oh, of course! My, my master plan uh, panned out again. I don't really think we need this, honestly. I don't think we need any of this. I'm, I'm rolling once more. All according to Keikaku. This is good enough. Heal three and cleave. This is actually, there's a use for this now. Get smoked. Get smoked. Heal yourself to heal Glacia as well. Burst me. We're actually going to make it. I can't believe it, but it's going to happen. What is this one again? I can't remember. Weaken all units. Yeah, but if I weaken you, then you can't weaken me. It's that simple. We don't even need a big shield. Hey, NL, when are you going to do damage? When your mom stops coming to my house for intercourse? Owned? Owned? Plus two, plus two. Oh, it's the funniest joke we've ever heard. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, I'm going to burst you. I'm going to smack you. Our bard is now living. Ten times our bard understood the assignment. I'm going to shield them again. I'm going to burst you. You need to take two damage. This seems very doable. Kill one bony next turn and do two damage. No, kill one bony next turn and do one damage. How hard could it be? With, uh, with weaken. Turns out very hard. You know what? Let's... Maybe we got to take a turn off here. So, heal the bard. They're living. We can't get any mana. Shield yourself. Get hit for one. You can't do any damage. Um, self, heal for two. I'll pass my turn. Just kill the lich. I can't attack the back line, okay? I'm rolling. I have no means with which to attack the back line. What do you do again? Oh, you've turned two of our units to stone. That's pretty bad. No, you turn one unit to stone. But I'm dodging your attack anyway. You freaking suck, dude. You're actually garbage. The monsters are trying to flee. Will you let them escape? No, this is the hardest fight I've ever been involved in in my entire life. You're dead, and now you're... Like, listen, you're dead. We did We didn't even lose anybody. Wait, I don't know why he made it sound like an elephant when he died. Scales. Max. 
set the value of the rightmost side to the maximum of your other side's values. Infiniheal. Replace the two right sides with heal all sides, retaining their original value in keywords. Can somebody watch, walk me through this? <laughs> Replace the two right sides with heal all sides, retaining their original value in keywords. So this means it will heal all heroes. This adds on, not replaces. Okay. So it adds on to whatever we have on the right side. So like if we already have a heal on the right side. So th this would be like gain four mana, heal all sides for four. Y yes, no, no, no. It does replace. Okay, it does replace, but it keeps their keywords. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, man. <laughs> I feel like replacing, it only keeps the keywords. So I would not get any extra mana. It would just be heal all sides like, if I did it here, it would, this would become two heals for one. If I did it here, it would become a heal all for three and a heal all for four. I hate to lose the four mana, though. The four mana is so good. This one, set the value of the rightmost side to the maximum of your other side's values. So we could make you needlessly become a two. You could become a two, and you're empty. You could become a two, and you're empty. You are already a four. You would become a two. I'm taking a random tier six item. Wand grips. Adds a single use and plus two to the left side. So it makes the left side item better, but can only be used once, or the left side face. You can only be used once anyway. I would say, I mean, we're gonna take it, obviously. We might as well just put that on you. Sure, it seems, it seems fine. This is the farthest I've ever made it, by the way. It's a, it's a crazy world these days. Basilisk. Petrify. On hit, turn the attacking side to stone. Hmm, that's rough. What is this? Did I cantrip on you, which turned this to stone? <laughs> uh... Give me that. Roll me. My cantrips! Okay, this is good. This is, we don't really need the heal. The boost would be okay, though. Okay, there's an even bigger heal. Summon an even larger heal. Bard needs the shield. Now they're doing okay. And I feel like, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to kill your ass, but it's got to, I, I guess I want to kill you first. Wait, cleanse removes the petrifying effect? Oh, baby. So you're telling me I could hit you and then cleanse. Wait, no, this is heal three cleave. We have a heal with cleanse, but it's not this one. Okay, so we might as well do damage to you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Times two on targets that have fully... Oh, you're only doing one damage. I'm... You can use the burst spell to kill it? To kill it? Oh, because I see. Because the magic won't... Right. The magic won't petrify. I understand what you're saying. I understand it completely. This doesn't matter at all. This still... Oh, wait. We, we've, we've undone too far. Give me my mana back. Shield yourself. Get bursted. You know what? We might as well chill you. Why not? We'll, we'll weaken you a little bit. This turn is dead. This does nothing. I'll attack you for... I mean, attacking you for one is literally useless, but at least it doesn't ruin our dice. You know what? 
This dice is okay to be ruined. It's not one of our best rolls. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! So true. Are you, You're the cleave again. But we can actually use this as much as I would like a cleanse. See, that's fine. You're fine. Roll me again. Yeah, the troll heals for one every turn. So we gotta be... Uh, like, there's no reason to do one damage to it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Roll me once more. Come on, you could do better. You could do better than that. This is one-time use only anyway, so we might as well pop it. It's a good cleave. Nobody's dying. Two extra mana. Get bursted. Get killed. Now, I'm not saying we're going to do great against this troll, but, like... We, we've at least taken out one of the units, and it would be nice to get a cleanse. You're not a cleanse, are you? You're not an intellectual. This is still pretty good. You really need to do some damage. I think we need, we need to embrace the cantrips here, if possible. Wait, they're, they're back. Nobody's petrified. No, no, they're not back. We just have a bunch of them. This is good. Although, now that you're not at full HP, it's a little worse, but... Get smacked. Love it. Okay, we have no mana, so this is just two shield. I'm going to put it on yourself. No, I'm going to undo. I'm going to put it on you because I'm going to heal here and get everybody to full. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. Okay, look at this. Look at, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. One poison. It's another good time to have cleanse. Heal one and boost. I kind of snooze. I take, I take, I roll. One damage weaken. This will make your poison useless. Incredible. You stink. Nobody's taking poison damage. Nobody needs a shield, unfortunately, but that's okay. Took us long enough. Okay, I'd love to weaken you once more. Very nice. Nothing else is very relevant. Good enough. I mean, I guess blocking one damage is, is pretty solid. Lots of blank spaces, baby. And I'll write your name. I think you're dead anyway. Look, no, everybody, no problem. Level 14. Rogue could become Venom, or our Gladiator could become a Veteran. Listen, I'm not looking at any of this. I'm just seeing that our Veteran is like, just looks like a substantially better Gladiator. So I'm adding Cable to the squad. And I'm giving him this right here. Okay, we got three Backliners, a Poisoner, and then what? what is your... You got armor one. That's unfortunate. I would definitely like our rogue to not get hit for um, what appears to be 14 damage and then one poison. <laughs> That's pretty bad. This is a good attack. This is good mana. Roll me again. Give me some of these juicy cantrips, man. Immune! Why would you attack them then? You gotta attack somebody else! Give me the dodge. Give me the dodge. Give me the... Okay, well, at least we landed the shot. Hey, listen. You got three attack left. Guess what? Now we're only dying by six. <laughs> you're, you're dead. I, I'm not going to be able to save you. I think five mana. You're doing five. I'm not going to be able to kill you or like to, to save our rogue's life, but we're not going to lose the, the mission. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have quite enough mana, even despite our rolls. Use chill. I mean, I just used two mana to take six damage off the field. I don't think using... Uh... Oh, no, you're right. Hold on. And then... I mean, I would rather... I mean, chill. We need to protect two, so we have to do it like that. Much better. I forgot we had the dice remaining. Either or... I might be crazy. I feel like one weaken is worse than two block when you're on one HP. But I might, I might be mistaken when your enemy's doing five. Okay, now what is this? This is our cleanse, but you take five damage just to use it. Reduces negative effects. Anyway, here's the thing. 
You, we're not taking any damage this turn. So what do we need heals for? We need nothing. Oh, it weakens too. Okay, fair enough. In that case, I'm being ignorant. Free cantrip, okay. One of you's dead. Just give me mana. Just give me mana. We needed more mana than that, but that's okay. Get smoked. Get owned. You might as well heal. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Because we, we may not need to use the mana. I will not let them flee. Come on. I know I know that mathematically we've already won. But let's um Let's make them feel the pain. Because they made me feel the pain. By getting backseated about arithmetic. Level seven mushroom. Gets minus one this fight after use. Adds decay and plus one to all sides. I mean, that's like, that seems great. Unless the fight goes on for a long time. Replace the middle side with plus two mana duplicate. Duplicate, copy this onto all allied sides this time. What the fuck does that mean? So if I, does this mean that if I use this first, all of my allied dice will also get plus two mana? Yes, that's insane. Like, why wouldn't I just stick that on you right there? It's like a straight up improvement. They override the original side. Okay, still, still good to know. So we can just use it whenever we have like trash dice remaining. Holy cow. It's quite a lot of damage coming in on our veteran here. Commander, all monsters get plus one to all sides. Okay, killing both war chiefs first would be nice. This is so much damage. This is a great roll. This is a great roll. I'm I'm loving my cantrips, at least. I'm loving the cantrips. I'm just, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, how are you going to live? Are you blue? No. You're yellow. Okay, we can't really... I don't think we can kill an alpha on this turn. And we probably can't kill two war chiefs. If we kill... Okay, listen. Shield for one. Kill one war chief. You're living. Take more mana. And... Might as well just chill one of you. Probably the one closer to death. And now we're living. For now. What the hell is this? Summon two wolves? Hardly seems fair. One damage plus weaken. So we could make you summon one... We actually, we can make you summon no wolves. That's amazing. We could make you completely dodge this attack. And then we just need to find a way to keep our bard alive. Our bard is getting hit... But you know what? One weaken would do it. And then whatever you roll is just gravy. That's not bad. I can live with it at least. So, you're summoning no wolves. Wonderful. You are no longer killing me. You're taking no damage. I think I would like to kill this guy just because they do so much damage. I can wait one turn. Or I could just get you close. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of... The, the veteran is actually not in danger. Heal one and boost. It's not quite good enough. You're getting attacked again. It's an incredible roll. I'm... Dude, I'm actually kind of cracked at this game. One of the best to ever do it. I didn't think we would live this long. Okay, what is... A, do we have a trash dice? No. All of our dice are good, so use this mana last. Dodge the attack. Kill this alpha. The veteran's doing great. Glacia's in a little trouble. 
for now. Let's smack this guy. If I do this, it also makes you just give two mana. As bad as that seems, no, that is worse. I'd rather just have the three shield on you and then two mana and then get you closer to death. Okay. Although I get, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I would love to kill you this turn. This is three damage. This is a lot of damage. Roll me. The bard is dying. How am I going to get around that? Flip question. Does it matter? Maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I kill you this turn instead and let you summon two wolves so that they don't die. Oh, that's true. Salve is one mana to heal two. So this way, you're alive. And I can do three, one, avoid the spawn of the wolves. Everybody gets one shield. You get even more, so we didn't need to use that, that one extra mana, but whatever. I'm not going to be too, too prickly about it if it looks like we're living regardless. Kill Warchief and stop the flow of wolves? Listen, motherfucker, it's the alpha wolf that summons the wolves. How can you kill the Warchief and stop the wolves from spawning? When the, oh, the Warchief has an extra wolf! I, okay. You, I need you to write it out in logical coding steps, okay? People just go in text and type stuff like use math. Use math to what? It's like saying build a, build a house with a hammer. Oh, well, of course you need nails. I thought that was implied. You would ban them? I wouldn't ban them. I might ban you for concern trolling, though. So watch it. Anyway, I gotta focus. We're going up against Tarantus. The Assassin. Three damage poison. An escape. What do you do right now? You don't do anything. <laughs> But what about Kronos? What's your spell? We would lose chill. We would gain a four mana, one damage, weaken cleave. So this would weaken everything adjacent to what we hit, which seems incredible. Two mana growth. Gets plus one this fight after youth. Use. <laughs> can trip. Target hero can use their dice again. Kronos seems amazing. I just met Kronos, but if anyone hap if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Single use. After you use this side, replace it with a blank. But it gets a plus two. If I use this... No, I was going to say, do you... I thought maybe they would be able to use their dice like ten times. It's okay. Copy this on to... Replace the middle side with plus two mana... Just thinking. It's complicated. It's complicated. There's a lot of stuff going on. Just send it. <laughs> it is nice to have that cantrip. Please put it on the rogue. Like the, the single use on the rogue? On Cruel Blade. All right, if you insist. Hello. You got a new fish? You got a new stick? Can you open the door so I can see? Oh, oh, oh. What'd you get? A new chick. Do you want to show chat? Yeah. Yeah. Look, chat. Look, chat. I got a new chick. I got a new chick. What does the chick say? Cheep, cheep. Cheep, cheep. <laughs> That's why she's playing. Okay. She is pogging up today. How's the day going? That's good. Duplicate. Dupli I don't want to lose my cat. I don't, you know what? I think we, uh, we just simmer on that one. 
We just simmer. Yeah, she's speaking like crazy, I know. It's uh it is bizarre for me too. Free reroll. You love it. What are you gonna do? Summon three spiders. The spiders all do poison damage, I'm sure. Okay. Well, this is good. This is great. It would be nice to get some weaken this turn. That's what I'll say about this. Because weakening the spiders would... Weakening Tarantus would mean that we get less damage. Wait with the dagger. Okay, that's sensible. We would, we would get less damage from the... We'd get one, one less spider. And also... Every adjacent spider would do no poison. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then for the veteran, I mean, three is pretty good. I'll, I'll simmer on three. Free damage. It's not as much as I'd like. Please, I need, I need the slow. I need slow. We did not get slow, but we got a free reroll. We, we got a free reroll yet again. Send it. We got another free reroll, and we got... T target hero could use their dice again. Oh, it's, it's spooky, man. Because, like, if... Target, we could get four extra mana out of that, which is crazy. Oh, and slow is a spell! I'm stupid! It's not something we could roll. This is amazing, then. Roll me again, though. Oh, no more free damage. Okay. Well, like, use your mana. Slow Tarantus. Is beautiful. Now he's summoning one spider. Use your dice again. Slow Tarantus. There you go. So we have almost no damage coming in now. Kill you. Kill you. It's beautiful. Look at this. He did nothing. What do you do in this turn? Poison. Three unblockable damage. That's it? That's nothing. Okay, four, four, use your dice again. I would save this four and re-roll me. Yeah, Kronos is, is, he's a god. Free damage. Free damage. Mana, slow. Mana. Slow. Oh, man, you're right. One block would have been pretty nice. <laughs> now that I think about it, but... Okay, so it's a one poison damage. No big deal. Oh, it is unblockable. That's true. So you're hitting our veteran. I mean, three mana is still really good. It's no four mana. But just getting to, like, one slow is still pretty solid. We don't have to have him do zero damage. We just have to have him do less... Like, not kill any of our units over the course of the fight. So how about two mana? Three mana? Slow. <laughs> how much damage? No matter what, you kill the topmost enemy. Okay. Use this, and then slow. He's crazy! He's crazy! Three more mana? Slow. Shield is not really relevant, I suppose, but we, got, we rolled it. Streamer luck. Streamer luck. What the hell is this? Well, I think we have to try to kill you this turn. Because you're doing 12 damage to the top unit. Listen, we could roll to get to our, our dodge. But this does... We have eight damage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Are you not dead? Are you not dead already? And then this, and then this, and then the shield. It doesn't really matter what it becomes. This is fine. And well, we have one more reroll, but who cares? Can we just smack you? Oh. Because you have half HP. You take double damage. Okay, okay. Level 17. Mirror mask. Replace all sides. With the hero above's base sides. <laughs> P 
plus three to incoming healing and shields. Or a random tier seven or nine item. I don't think we can get double Kronos because Kronos is at the bottom. But I think we could turn our bard into a veteran, which wouldn't be so bad. Or we could, what, what if we got a tier nine item? Dude, it's like, a, what was it? It's, it's like Eliminator. You, we, the car could be anything. It could even be a, a Lamborghini Uros. Rogue would become Kronos. That's an interesting way to look at that, isn't it? Kind of like those cantrips, though. They're just fun. I'm taking the random, dude. Tier 7, pair of kings. Add pair to the top and bottom sides. Pair. Times 2 if this has the same value as the previously used dice this turn. If this goes on the rogue, am I crazy? Because <laughs> then if the, if the cantrips rolled, wouldn't they just keep rolling for double damage? Because like the first cantrip, if you rolled one cantrip on a turn, it would do one. The second one would do two. The third one would do four. So we'd have to get rid of this because we have a limited amount of inventory space. It would have to be the top or the bottom cantrip, though. Well, we'll just see. We'll just see, okay? It does make sense on the veteran as well. Actually, you know what? I think it makes even more sense on the veteran. But, oh, this free damage going insane. <laughs> it's, it's mighty tempting. It is mighty tempting. Mana on the rogue. I don't want to get rid of my cantrip. I just I just have them. I like I think they're fun. Okay, let's let's look at this for a second. Ka. After taking damage for the first time each turn, move to the back row. I don't love that. Inflict pain. Add pain to target sides for a turn. And also you're doing six damage. Spiker. On damage the attacker for two on hit. That's pretty nasty. And you're doing seven damage. Okay. Um, this is pretty good. This is irrelevant. And these, these are basically all irrelevant. Because we can... Unless we want to rebuild this one. The heal would let the veteran do double damage. I see. But then we would lose... <laughs> We'd lose the ability to get the, the mana to get some... Uh, you know what? Maybe weaken is not that relevant this turn. Because they're doing so much damage to begin with. Okay. Let's use this. Use this. Roll these. Roll these. I'm going to roll these. <laughs> I'm going to roll again. Copy a dice. Roll again. Roll again. We still got two rerolls. <laughs> we got one reroll. This is our last reroll. Okay, that's fine. Dodge. Heal. Doesn't matter who. Now you're going to do six damage. And you, okay, here, check this out. Six damage to you. And then I'm like, if you, but this probably counts as a zero. So I'm like, if I re-enable you, you only do three. I was hoping I could chain it up and then get it to go, like, because I was hoping to kill the bird in one hit. How much damage are you doing? Six on, on hit, six damage. Our veteran can take it, though, honestly. Can still kill the demon? What are you talking about? I'm just going to smack you. I'm going to take the damage. And then I'll try to keep our witch alive. Hmm. 
Bard is in trouble, I'm realizing now, because they have pain on all sides. <laughs> hey! What the heck was that for? Okay. Use your dice again. Keep this. I don't know what I'm going to do about you, honestly. I got to think about that. That's pretty nice. I need you to be a three instead of a four, though. I think I'm going to hedge my bets. I'm so scared of the can trip, man. Well, this is a gimme. This is nice for a kill. <laughs> you break even, but you help some other people out. I think our bard, our bard cannot live. We, we can reuse a slow and then weaken. Oh, you can sell them. You're absolutely right. He's, but then our veteran needs to live as well. I'm going to smack you. Then I'm going to reuse the mana. I'm going to undo that. The mana has pain associated with it. Can't kill the bird? I can't kill the bird. It moves to the back line. Moves to the back line. It would be nice. If I use this, everybody lives. Okay. It was a little sussy, though. How are we going to kill this spiker, man? That's like the real problem. <laughs> Is everybody's dying. Stop cantripping the spiker, man. Okay, this keeps these three units alive. That's big in and of itself. Don't roll. I Stop rolling the freaking cantrips, dude. <laughs> Don't roll them this time. Okay, this this is fine. This is fine. Roll me again. Okay. So, like, I really want to kill the bird. I don't know if it's going to happen. Hit me with this. Obviously dodge. Everyone's living. Wonderful news. I can't kill you this turn. That's very unfortunate. I can do a double heal. That's very nice. Two extra mana. I'm honestly just going to get you closer to death for next time. Okay, please, like, no cantrips for the spiker. That's a cantrip, but it hit the right unit. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, this is a tough call here. Um, this is pretty good. I feel like I have to like take this, but not actually spend it. Like we won't spend it at all. The one damage weaken. That's on the on the witch. That's fine. It's fine. I'm okay with this. Give me mana. Give me a super shield on you. One damage weaken. I'm going to attack you. Everybody's living. I probably am going to burst you, but we'll, we'll wait and see. We can just store the mana to maybe get some lethal for next time. Okay, you're only hitting one unit. That's beautiful. You peace! There's nothing I can do about it. Anyway. The good news is, you're dead. So we lived. I guess I could have salved at the end of the last turn. That's true. Dancer. Dancer or Valkyrie? I'm just going to say sight unseen. Our bard is useless right now. Four damage death wish times two damage if you're dying this turn. Target ally cannot be killed this turn. Rescue. This side can be used again if it saves a hero. 
Revive the top two most, the two top most defeated allies. Give them a chance. Okay, it's level 18. Three snipers is a real problem. Free cantrip, you love it, you love it. One, okay, target ally cannot die this turn. Seems good. One weaken, we use that on the demon. There will be no imp this turn. Seems acceptable to me. I would roll again. Thank you for the free damage, sir. I would roll again. We don't have any three power units or abilities, so we can't really make the veteran pop, but that's okay. All right, weaken the demon. All we can do apart from that is attack the zombie. You can't die this turn. Two mana. We can, the zombie will die if we can hit them with one attack for four. So I think we should just save up on them, go in on the demon, because that's the only other unit we can attack right here. We can't kill the snipers, they're on the back line. We need, we need some nightbot support for that. Okay, now obviously we're still taking a lot of damage. Love it. What do you do again? Shield 2. This side can be used again if it saves a hero. So we could possibly get shield 4 out of it. This is a huge heal, though. This is a tough one. Right now is not... Actually, you know what? I bet we could, could get it to save a hero. I think we got a chain going there. You're just going to have to trust me. This is always good. Always good. We'll live with it. Okay, watch this. Heal me for three. Save me for two. Which allows me to then use it again. And put this on you to get you a little closer. Then... Sh hold on. Undo that. <laughs> Shield me for three. Re save yourself. Put this on yourself again. And then... One more heal. To help everybody out. Okay, great defensive turn! Great defensive turn! On hit does six damage. To what, though? I gotta try something. To nobody. Wonderful news. Okay, I pass turn. Did you see that defense that turn? Valkyrie has pain on everything now, though. That's, that's a little spooky. Beautiful. Are you going to keep a unit alive? Immediately I see that you can, although every time we use this dice, it will damage yourself, so that's a little scary. <laughs> Four damage kills a zombie. Very true. I'm going to keep you. I know how this looks. Then I'm going to roll. Love to see the can trips. Cleanse, I'm not really that interested with. Three mana, sure. I mean, four would be nicer, but... Got to hedge your bets. Okay, so you're dead. Good start. Hold on, though. Oh, yeah, no, no, this is fine. Then... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Protect the rogue, which means you can use it again. Hmm. Protect, oh, because it's going to hurt you for two every time we use it. Okay, protect the rogue, which gives you a free use. Although it's si siphoning your own HP. I don't know. Kill the zombie. You're now dying. Six mana, though? You're probably not going to die. Slow does a weaken and a cleave. I don't think the weaken is as relevant as just making sure the demon dies. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hit you for two, which is uh, via burst. And then we can kill a sniper that's killing our veteran. Thusly. 
Hold on. No, no, no. Protect the witch to keep them alive. Protect the veteran to keep them alive. Doesn't that... Oh, because you're dying to poison now. Okay, protect the witch. Then we get to use it again. But using it again would cause us to die. Then, hold on. We got so much... There's so much mana in return here. Who's dying? The veteran is dying. Kill you. Now nobody's dying. We have two mana remaining. I mean, everybody's looking looking groovy, man. So I would basically just smack you and get ready for the full heal after we win the fight here. Because this is... Like, we're, we're definitely doing four damage. It's not salve blind. It's just like, why use it? Look, we're, we're steamrolling here. Get, no, you un t undo that. I, everything but this. Everything but that. Just in case. There's no, there's no closed information here. There is no just in case. Okay, get smoked. Get smoked. <clears throat> Bullseye. Add engage to the middle column. Does times two versus targets not on full HP? Targets on full HP. Or the Eye of Horus, plus one to all sides. Well, it wouldn't do much for the cantrips. It would do a lot for the veteran. Holy cow. I would go bullseye straight up. But then I have to get rid of your extra HP to give you this. Because we want to keep the pair, even though I can't seem to use it properly. Two damage cantrip? Yeah, but then when the units are not on full HP anymore, it's not two damage. Valkyrie with the armor. Now that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, anybody with the armor, I guess, makes sense. Although I would rather have you be closer to death to make Death Wish better. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. Two trolls, and then the Basilisk is like, on hit, turns the attacking side to stone. I forgot, I hate that. <laughs> three damage, engage. So if I could then get the three mana out of it, like a, a, the three mana ability, we'd be in a great spot. I'm going to roll. This petrified one of those. There's the three mana, okay. Now we want to get, reuse a dice. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Although, blue dot... No, I don't want you to dodge. I want to copy the dice. It's fine. We're going to hit you for... Oh, but then if I hit you, it's going to petrify. <laughs> Surely, though... Oh, we can't reuse a dice anyway. Okay. Three mana. Six damage on a troll. That did ruin engage completely. You're you're absolutely right. You got nothing, which is horrible. I'd rather save up for a slow next turn. Honestly, we'll have a big mana turn next time. It's a spicy start, though. One weaken. I really feel like you need to roll a heal, actually. So I'm um, forget that weaken. Four units are dying this turn. That is just not great. <laughs> but wait, 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 hold on. We got the heal, a reusable shield, a good attack. We want to see reuse dice. It's exactly what we just got. Okay, now be smart here. This keeps you alive, which means we could use it again. If we then heal here, you guys are no longer dying. And then two four pieces kills a troll.
Should run some defense on the rogue just for just for sport. And get the other troll handled. Veteran not in a great place, admittedly. Now this is a great turn for some weekend. This is four. That's just good. Reusable shield with people on lethal. A great weaken, so nobody gets poison damage. And then just see what you get. Lots of X's. Your dodging was irrelevant. But anyway. Okay, first use the shield. You're saved. You're saved. Weaken. You're saved. You're not saved because it's, it's poison damage. So you must be salved instead. Okay, that does keep you alive. <clears throat> Hit the troll. Dodge two damage. Just taking some time. <laughs> All my cantrips. Good, good. Good, although I can't help but feel that like a free shield would be better. But let's take it. It is still the first run. I know it sounds unbelievable. So we're going to be using a lot of salves this turn, probably. I would say protect yourself from death. We could go up to seven mana. One weakness would reduce... One poison, which seems helpful. But then I'm also like, okay, your total HP is 15. If I hit you for four, then I can kill you. Very nice. Then, why wouldn't I just salve you? And like, honestly, just keep you salved up enough that the poison... I, I think this is fine, actually. And then... Slow you to reduce the poison damage in the future. Okay, this is good. This is good. We want to kill the Basilisk with spells, ideally. This would be another great turn for a weaken. Nobody's dying this turn, but getting eight mana or doing... Okay, you're, you're done. We made it. I can't believe it's still the first run. I also can't believe we're like, you know, 10 hours in or whatever, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Use me again. And then there, because that was that would petrify the dice. Okay, we're on the we're on the boss, Ludus. I want to get rid of the cantrips because it's ruining our execute. I feel like maybe some range from a sharpshooter makes a lot of sense. What does this do? Kill an enemy with five or less HP. Ranged. Okay. Do you summon birds? Two damage copycat. Copies the keywords from the last used dice face this turn. So could we copy like, um, could we copy like execute? You could copy pair. Okay, that seems good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try the sharpshooter out then. And I'm going to, we don't need your cantrips anymore. We simply do not require them. Don't really want that. Don't really want that. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to try at least. Okay. The ranged units have gotta go, but I how much you're doing 10? 15 damage to the to the strongest unit. Well, the shield doesn't seem that effective here. A free kill on an archer seems nice. <laughs> and then roll. If you're going to die this turn, you do double damage with this. Is decent damage in and of itself. You can create like a huge shield this way. Oh, you're right. It is one shot to cut. No, because we don't have execute on it. The executes only on the veteran. He skipped killing the bird. You don't even know what you're talking about. 
Four damage engage one shots cough. Calls on the back line. Oh no, you no, he's not. You're right. That's even worse. He moves to the back line. Son of a okay, wait, hold on. But this is still a kill on COD this turn. It just requires two attacks this time. Now, okay, and then we, we vindicated or you know, crisis averted. This kills you. Your ass is dead, though. Like, I cannot save you. And there's no way I can go back in time. You gotta go. Archer can hit the back line. Magic cannot hit the back line. Sorry, we have a revive. We'll just have to hit you. Take two mana. Not really much point in healing you. Not much point in taking a bunch of pain ourselves here. We'll just res you later. He, he absorbed an attack. That's good for us. Okay. Nobody's dying, so this is useless. This is pain. I mean, how much damage does this do? Five to all? That's not that bad. Like, this is pretty good. This is nice enough. This is very good, and this is important. Although I'm like, if I bring you back to life, are you immediately going to die? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to res you. You came back with full HP. Holy cow. That was surprising. Why did I save a heal? Well, you know. It's a great question. Okay, veterans taking 15 damage again. This is, we know this is going to be good. This is pretty good. Roll again. Copies the last thing that was used. <laughs> it can save you from death this turn. Copies the last keyword. We don't have any valuable keywords on this f to apply with this bow, I think. Unless reuse is a keyword, which I don't think it is. I don't think it copies reuse. Uh, four mana is just insane. That one hurt. Save the veteran. This is a great turn then. Give me four mana. I don't feel like weakening you is that valuable. Without, I'd rather just use like all of our mana to do damage at half price. Undo that one. I'm gonna smack you. I'm gonna smack you once more. Okay. Just made more sense. Great on flame turns. Great on a poison turn, too. I could definitely see that. Four mana's good. It would be better to have the four attack that has a keyword. So I'm going to take a chance to reroll. You're going to give us more mana, which is great. You, you actually might stand a chance to keep us alive here. Although there is a lot of poison. Try a roll. Okay, this is a good turn for Weaken, I think. Now nobody's dying. What if I shield first? It's a free shield. It's a free shield. Then Weaken. Block some damage. Four free mana. Weaken. We take even less poison damage. Take a shot. Nobody's taking any damage this turn, so the shield's kind of useless, but... Okay, okay. Another great turn for Weaken. Well, how much damage do we have to do to you? 14. Insanely good. Could do better. <laughs> Could do better. I'm like, if I could just get you, <laughs> if I could just get you to five, I could kill you, but reroll three. 
Listen, we're gonna play it slow. I think I think we're oh, that that one hurt. But we got a free reroll. Please, please, please. Okay, that's I can live with it. Start with the shield. This keep does not keep you alive. So check this out. Start with a weaken. Shield. 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 Three more mana. Salve. Shield. Shield. Get smacked and you do double damage because the last attack was for three, which means you're going to do six this time. Could burst you or we could just wait a turn. Did you see that? Did you see the, the power of the arithmetic? Get on. You stink. Greatest gamer of all time. Confirmed. He slices, he dices. He, he reached level 20. It took me two hours, but I had a good time. Now, that was only normal difficulty, though. We got to try hard next. <laughs> Congratulations. You have completed a great game. Okay, slash marker me. That'll be... Um, 